nothing is more exciting than finally getting your cruise booked. So what do you do now? Well, you're in luck because I'm going to share my pre-embarkation day tips and also provide you with a free checklist. Ahoy there, cruisers. My name's Peggy Lynn, and ever since my first cruise back in 2013, I've been hooked. Now that I have my daughter MJ and my husband Maverick along for the ride, I want to share with you my cruising tips, tricks, and hacks. So, are you ready to get sailing into today's video? Let's go. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanted to go over some pre-embarkation day tips to ensure smoother sailings. Because there is just nothing as head spinning as trying to make sure that you didn't forget to complete anything before you head to the cruise terminal. Because, heaven forbid, you did. And now you probably can't cruise. Oh, oh no! But have no fear, because not only will I go over these tips, I'm going to provide a free checklist so that you can download or print this out, and it's at your fingertips. Okay, now coming in as my tip number one, definitely ensure you have all, and I mean all, needed travel documents. I know you're like, Peggy Lynn, that is like a no-brainer. But making sure that you have traveling documents like a current passport, official birth certificate, and an up-to-date government-issued ID is a must. Nothing is more frustrating than never checking and finding out you can't use your now-expired passport, or perhaps you wait to get these items together and you can't find them. So don't be that guy and make sure that you have your documents together. Next, tip number two is to download the Cruise Line's official app. I like using the official Cruise Line apps because it helps you with a lot of things prior to sailing. Everything from selecting dining and bedding preferences to learning about current COVID protocols. I know, I know. These apps are a great tool to help you stay on track and be less stressed until your sale date. Plus, you can complete the online check-in easily through the app, which will allow you to quickly set up your sailing charge account and pick a boarding time for the embarkation day. My tip number three is to schedule and complete the correct COVID test. While my nautical wish is that this should go away soon, unfortunately, we still need to comply with testing before a cruise. So definitely check with the cruise line that you are staying with to determine which type of test they require, along with when you need to take it. From my experience, it's usually done within 48 hours of sailing, and sometimes you can get it done right before at the port. And remember, COVID procedures are always changing, so definitely stay on top of them. Moving on to tip number four, make sure you're packed. Now, I know, more common sense, right? But while it sounds like a pretty easy endeavor, packing for a cruise does take a bit of practice. I highly recommend printing out things like your boarding passes, luggage tags, of course those negative COVID test results, and any flight and hotel information. And if you're also in need of a free cruise packing checklist, I've got you covered there too. I'll make sure to link it down below. Next is my tip number five, which is don't travel far the day of sailing. Now, unless you live pretty close to the cruise port, I do not recommend driving long distances or even flying in the day of your cruise. Things like accidents or car trouble, cancel flights. I mean, there's so many other issues that could come up. So my tip here is to get in town the night before and book a hotel. It's worth the extra cost, at least in my opinion, because it takes off a lot of stress. I'm not super bougie, so I personally just look for economical hotels that are within 15 minutes of the cruise port, and if they provide a shuttle to that port, ding, 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 I'm booking it. Hooray! Yay! 
while I do use sites like Expedia and Hotels.com, I honestly try to look for park and sale type packages. Basically, um, if you drive to the port and you stay at the hotel, they will allow you to park your car in their lot during the length of your cruise for a discount. It's a lot cheaper and these hotels usually provide a shuttle to the port. Now, if you found value in this video, I would really appreciate it if you like and subscribe so that you can be aware whenever my new content comes out. Okay, well we made it to the final tip of this video and tip number six is get that cash out before you leave. Now, even though you can usually access ATMs anywhere, you know, you rely on your card and swiping, I still suggest getting cash out, especially if you plan on using any to apply to your sale account when you get on board on embarkation day. But make sure to get that cash locally. Not only will you have cash on hand for any emergencies that might arise, but you'll also probably save some money on those ATM fees. Also make sure that you get some small bills because you might want to be able to tip your porters on embarkation day along with other cruise ship staff. And that concludes this video on pre-embarkation day tips to ensure smoother sailings. I really hope that they helped you so that you may navigate the days leading up to your cruise. And with that, I bid adieu and bon voyage.